In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and with your spirit. My dear friends, we continue to be strengthened by God's love, by God's grace during this um, great challenge that we all face. Let us continue to pray for one another and hold on to the love that Christ has given us. So as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May my God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. I will be the God of all the clans of Israel. It is the Lord who speaks. They shall be my people. The Lord says this, they have found pardon in the wilderness, those who have survived the sword. Israel is marching to his rest. The Lord has appeared to him from afar. I have loved you with an everlasting love, so I am constant in my affection for you. I build you once more, you shall be rebuilt, virgin of Israel. Adorned once more, and with your tambourines, you will go out dancing gaily. You will plant vineyards once more, the mountains of Samaria. The planters have done their planting, they will gather the fruit. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen shout on the mountains of Ephraim, Up, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. For the Lord says this, Shout with joy for Jacob, Hail the chief of nations, Proclaim, praise, shout, The Lord has saved his people, The remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn the morning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left Genesaret and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Then out came a Canaanite woman from that district and started shouting, Sir, son of David, take pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples went and pleaded with him. Give her what she wants, they said, because she is shouting after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman had come up and was kneeling at his feet. Lord, she said, help me. He replied, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs. She retorted, Ah, yes, sir, but even house dogs can eat the scraps that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, you have great faith. Let your wish be granted. And from that moment, her daughter was well again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings today offers us a message of hope that God will not, never abandon us, even in the challenging moments of our lives. Let us just be strengthened by our faith in the Lord, who is always with us, carrying us, carrying our burdens, carrying our fears. Even though human as we are, we tend to be weakened. But the Lord is always here with us. As we face this great challenge upon us, all the more that we need that strength of hope. As the first reading from Jeremiah has prophesied, one day the God of hope is with us and will bring us to deliverance out of this great challenge. Because as the responsorial psalm said, and even in the gospel story we heard today, the Lord is with us. Because God in Jesus is our shepherd who continuously look after us. Even though that sometimes we face um, part of our human weakness is doubt and anxiety and fear. But let us not be drawn into that. I pray that during this time, we may rediscover once again that great faith that we all share in Christ Jesus. We may rediscover again that hope that God continues to offer us so that together we can surpass this challenge with great faith with great hope and with great love. My dear friends, in our prayers of faith, let us now appeal to God for all our needs. That the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers or hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may show care and concern for suffering people, 
regardless of their status, race, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in lockdown, for all residents and staff in aged care, and for the families of those affected, particularly the ones in our local area. We pray especially for the safety of the Ashburton and Jordanville communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, may we always see the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. Hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these today by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And I invite you to take this time as a moment of private prayer, silent prayer, and also to pray the acts of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again for participating with me in the celebration of the Eucharist, even though it's um, an online and you participate at home. And we invite you to continue to pray for one another. And as we continue to celebrate the Eucharist online, I do invite you to participate with me to keep our faith alive and filled with hope to rediscover once again the wonders of God's love in us, especially during these challenging moments of our life. So I do invite you to come and join with me again tomorrow at 10 a.m. for the cel uh, celebration of the Eucharist online. And thank you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.